Hello everybody, my name is Teacher Kiri. I am so excited to be back with a new video. I have actually taken um, some time off from VIP Kid over the last several months um, and I just started teaching again. Um, I, I still had my contract going and I was still doing some referring on the side, um, but currently I am 32 weeks pregnant now. Um, so for most of my pregnancy, just based on how I was feeling and um, my husband's work schedule, um, we were kind of in a transitional season, um, so I hadn't taught in a while, but we just recently moved to um, a new state and new job for my husband with um, much better hours, much more predictable, so I'm able to um, open up my schedule again, and I'm feeling a lot better now, so <clears throat> a lot more energy, so I'm trying to get in a few good weeks here um, before this third baby comes. Um, so anyways, I wanted to update you guys though on my um, setup because it's different now than it was before. Um, so if you've seen my other video on my minimalist classroom setup, I'll link that below. That was what my classroom used to look like. And even though it was still minimal, um, it was much less minimal than it is now. So now it is like major. I just want to make it as easy as possible to keep up with and uh, not be obtrusive to my life or anything. So this is like the extreme minimal classroom tour. Uh, so I'm excited to share this with you guys today. So first I'll tell you where I am. So I, um, this time, this is the first time I've done this. I've taught from a couple different houses before and I've always been in kind of a separate space. I've never had an office, but I've always chosen somewhere not in the main living area to teach from. Like my bedroom was my first classroom, and then we were living with my parents for a while at their house, and I used their basement um, <clears throat> where nobody's you know room was or anything. This time around, for the first time, I am teaching from a common space, so I'm teaching from the kitchen um, or the dining area. So um, the way my schedule is right now, I'm teaching from five to seven in the morning. And so it's before our kids get up. So I like this because I'm right here in the kitchen. Um, I can grab water or a quick snack, um, breakfast between classes, things like that. Um, so the way that I wanted to set it up was just so that it would not be um, noticeable to anyone during the day. Uh, so I, why I like it is because I just teach, I'm at the kitchen table here. And so this table is already here. And so I'm not having to have an extra table that I'm having to set up and then take down or having a table that's sitting there. I used to teach from a folding table and um, it was fine, but it was either set up there in the room or I would have to break it down and put it away. Um, so this way I'm just using a table that's already there. Second, um, I have the way that I have it set up, you can see my classroom background here, and this is literally all my background is, is these are my reward stars. And then I just have my little VIP kid sign that I drew. So super simple. And um, this is just a little um, like sidebar thing behind our table that's just there anyways. And so during the day when I'm not teaching, what's up here is I have this chalkboard sign. and. Um, so I love it, and this is just particular to my space, so it's not necessarily gonna be true for you, but it's something to think about if you have some kind of a piece of, um, you know, a decoration that can stand up like this. I can put this up um, when I'm not teaching, and that way I don't even have to take down what's on the wall, because you can't see it. So um, this is up during the day, and then in the mornings when I come out here to teach, all I have to do is I just take this down and set it to the side and then I have my background. So super simple, no um, setup needed, and I don't have like a big VIP kid area in my kitchen when we have people over. So I like that. It's just, it, it looks a lot nicer, very nice. This is also the first time that I have sat uh, to teach before, so this is kind of a new setup for me. I've always been someone who stands to teach, and I do like standing to teach. I feel like you can have a lot more energy, especially for level one classes. It's nice to get up and move around a little more. But like I said, I'm 32 weeks pregnant and I'm tired and it's hard enough for me to motivate myself to get up and teach. And so I really like just sitting. Um, so I can just sit in my chair. I'm kind of just going low maintenance teacher right now. So I can just be sitting and I can still, you know, do a little dance from my chair when I need to. Um, but I, I'm really enjoying sitting for right now. So we'll see how long it lasts. I may decide to transition to standing again eventually, 
but for now I'm going with sitting and just having my computer at the kitchen table um, and having this background behind me. So then I'll show you what I pull out for my classes. So I have this little basket and it has, I, I just um, put this away um, just in the laundry room when I'm, after I'm done. But this has everything that I need for teaching besides my computer. Um, so I keep my headphones in here and then I keep the only props that I use. And honestly, like I said, I only just a couple weeks ago um, got back into teaching after taking a couple months off. So I may tweak what is in this basket as time goes on. And if you've seen my other minimalist classroom setup, oh, um, these are all props. I think all of them are props that I uh, used before in that video, but it's actually less stuff now. So we just moved here. So I had a box of VIP kid stuff um, in storage. And so this is just what I've pulled out so far. And honestly, I've hardly used any of it for my classes. I'm going super minimal on props. Um, I just I don't want to have to think about anything else so, um, so I'm just really focusing on the teaching and not worrying about props um, which is what I did before but even more so now so what I do have and what I maybe recommend to you this one I definitely recommend to you is um, just a little Dollar Tree whiteboard so you can get this for one dollar Dollar Tree um, and a marker and so this is just super versatile I'll use it for anything so I have that I have, um, this is something that I think is kind of fun, and I had some other ones, but I haven't pulled them out. Um, but you can take, uh, I don't remember if this was in my last video, but um, the, the mailers that you get that have like all the ads for Hardee's and stuff like that, um, that you would normally just throw away, uh, or maybe use the coupons, I don't know. But um, the thing with all the coupons and stuff, little booklets that you get in the mail. If you um, find some of these larger size pictures, ads that they have on there, you can cut it out. And I just laminated it, laminated it with packing tape. And whoop, whoop. so this makes a great um, prop that was just free. Um, so I do have this. I like to have some food item just in case you have to talk about eating something. Or if you're just not getting anywhere and you need, need to break the ice with somebody, it's always fun to pull out a hamburger. So I have this one. I have one piece of play food. I have my apple. <clears throat> um, I do have a pack of uh, flash letter flashcards, and I recommend those just because there's a lot of lower level classes where you're going over letters. And it can be a little boring, and so it's nice to have something to pull out because then you can show them the letter, and then you can flip it around to show them the picture, and you can say, ah, ah, apple. And it's just a really simple go-to way to add in an easy prop, and it's just all stored right in here. Um, and I think I got that on Amazon for like $2 or something. But you can get it pretty much anywhere. Um, I have my old pictures I drew forever ago of a kite and... A rain cloud and I have one with a sun somewhere but I haven't I don't think I pulled it out of the box so I don't have it in here yet um, but these are kind of good go-to's so VIP kid talks about kites all the time for some reason so I find this helpful to have um, soccer ball a puppet a trophy for when they finish a unit assessment um, this is actually for, um, I use tape to tape it over my camera if I have a no-show. Um, so I also like to keep tape in here. I actually don't have it in here right now, but I do keep tape to, if my stars need extra tape or to tape that up. Um, this I also drew way back, I think when I did my demo when I got hired um, and just laminated it with packing tape. So this is a good one that I still like. I have one of my son's dinosaurs, and then I just have the numbers one through seven for ages, particular, particularly for trial classes, um, but any of the, the young classes where you're talking about their age. So I figure, um, you know, this, this will cover all the ages that I would need to do for that. And um, I couldn't find, when I unpacked my box, I couldn't find the ones that I normally do. There's, I have two types of number cards that came together, and I like the ones better that on the back they have um, pictures of like, you know, two cars or something. So I like to use those where I, we would say the number, and then we'd flip it around and we'd practice counting them. Um, I just haven't found those yet since unpacking, but 
Um, yeah, and that's all. That's the only things in my basket. So to give you an idea, I am certified for levels one through seven. Um, and so, plus, you know, all the supplementary things. And so this is really all I need to um, make that work. I have a couple of fun things for the younger kids to engage them on. You really don't need many props with the older kids. I've got my whiteboard for, you know, writing things out, whatever. Um, so yeah, it can just be super, super simple. It does not have to be elaborate. You don't have to have a whole system of props that you use for every lesson. I just recommend having a few go-to things, keep them in a basket that you just pull out when you are ready to teach. Um, and I'm finding that it's working really well. So then my stars back here, um, th this is my reward system. It's the only one I use. I never switch it up. I always do the same thing. I ordered these from another teacher um, from her Etsy shop. So I'm going to see if she's still running it. I assume she is. And if she is, I will link that below. So definitely support her. It was like a couple dollars to get these five stars. Um, and so yeah, they're, they're fun. They're, I'll keep doing that. They're glittery. And um, so when I give a star on the platform, I just give them one of these stars. And I do that for all levels, all classes. So very simple. I never have to think about rewards. I never have to think about switching up rewards. You know, I hear people talking a lot about regular students and like, ah, oh, you know, they're just bored with the reward systems. And if you love to do that and come up with new things, that's awesome. And I wish I was fun like that, but I'm not. And so I just love my stars because it's super simple and I just stick with that and I never have to think about it. All right, so now let me hop around and I'm going to show you um, what the setup looks like from um, not the, you know, this camera view, but actually the table and everything so you can see what the setup is like. So here is the classroom. So this is just our kitchen table and then you can see there's a bookshelf behind. Um, and so I just sit in that chair. I, I pull the table up a little bit closer than normal so that I can reach behind me to reach the wall. Um, but that's all it is. It's just sitting at a chair at the kitchen table with my little basket. So what I didn't mention before is that my husband is actually also working for VIP Kids. So we are a whole VIP Kid family. So um, he had done it previously when he was in between jobs. Um, and so when I started back again a couple weeks ago, uh, he decided to start back too. So he just uses that those early morning hours, just like me, we teach at the same time. And so he just gets a couple hours in in the mornings before he goes to work for his daytime job. So with that, we um, are able to both teach in a pretty small house. Um, we don't have a lot of space. We don't have a lot of extra rooms. Um, so with me in the kitchen, he is this time around using our bedroom to teach from. Um, so I'm gonna also show you his classroom setup, which is also <laughs> super minimal. And, um, and so I'll just let you see what his looks like so you get a couple different ideas that might work for your space. So this is what it looks like in his classroom. He is living up the laid back classroom with this little rocking recliner. Um, so he's much taller than me. Um, so he's probably up a little bit taller. And I'm not sure exactly how if he sits up or back, but anyways. If you want to be kind of the relaxed teacher, this is nice. Um, so all he has is these are just um, little plastic placemats um, that we got, you know, for our kids. And now they're his classroom. Um, so he's got his two maps here and then his, um, this was actually in my old classroom and I just let him use it when he set this up. And then he just made himself a little name sign. That's all he has. Um, and then he's got a basket here. Um, with some props in it. He has um, stars as well that I got along with mine, um, except for we lost one of them in the move, I think. And so he only has four, so I'm not sure how he's, I think he just, the last one doesn't, he just gives it on the screen, I think, I guess. So he has stars. Um, and then all he has right now is a basketball and a panda, which is his little classroom helper. He loves the panda. Um, Usually there's a couple more. He he mostly just grabs toys from the kids' playroom. 
Um, like I know he usually has a little, um, our son's Iron Man um, action figure in here, but our son found it and took it back. So, um, so he just has whatever toys he grabs um, in here. But he's pretty, he's very minimal on props too. So that's all he has in there besides just his headphones. And um, so, yeah, this and so this is just in the corner of our bedroom. And so I'm gonna hop around and show you what it looks like uh, from the outside. So here's his classroom. So this is the folding table that I used to use. If you've watched my um, previous minimalist classrooms video, that's the same table. So it's just a little folding table. And then that's just our chair that um, was in the living room. <clears throat> and um, we just pulled it back here. So what I do um, during the day when he's not teaching is, let me see if I can do this at the same time. I just take the table and I push it back against the wall. So it's a little bit out of the way. Um, and then this chair, I just spin it to the corner. Um, so then I just have a little sitting area by the window. So we do still have the VIP kid stuff up on the wall in here, but I feel like it's unobtrusive enough that I can still, this is still a usable space and the table is not in the way, pushed back there and I can actually use this chair space. Um, so it's really not anything that's bothering us. So I hope that this was helpful and it gave you an idea of how you can successfully be a VIP kid teacher with the space that you have, you don't need to have a designated office. You don't need to have an elaborate setup. You don't need to have a million props. You can just, as long as you've got your computer and your tech that you need, and maybe just run to Dollar Tree and get a couple of things, um, but you can do it just from your kitchen table or your bedroom or whatever it may be. You can even teach from your couch if you want to. So I hope that this will help you to just jump in and get started, or um, maybe just help you think creatively about how to best use your space. So if you're thinking about applying to VIP Kid, I do love to help new teachers get started and I have a lot of great resources for you if you are getting ready to start on the application process. So um, if you are interested in getting some of those resources, please just use the link that I'll put below to start your application and that will um, sign you up as one of my personal referrals and gain you access to all of those resources. But please do send me an email if you use that link. Um, when you apply, I, I will see your name, but I won't get an email address for you. Um, so I won't be able to get you those resources until you email me. So please do email me. Um, I'll put my email address below. Let me know that you're applying and I will get you all of those resources and answer all your questions along the way. Uh, and I would just love to help you get started and help you get started teaching too once you're hired. Just um, help you get off on the right foot and figure everything out as you're getting started. If you've already started your application, um, you can still add my referral code as long as you have not uh, scheduled your mock class yet. Um, so if you're in the application phase or the demo phase, you can still add my code and get all of those resources. So I'll also drop my code below. You just add that to your VIP Kid account um, up on the right hand side. You should be able to add a referral code. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'd love to hear from you guys about what your classroom setup is, any tips that you have for um, how to have a minimalist classroom. Thanks again and good luck teaching.